I'm Dylan. I, I'm Graham. I'm the project engineer in this farm. You're the mastermind behind this? Well, yes, I help the uh, farmer owner to come up with a plan, and then we put it on plan, and eventually the project gets in the construction phase. How do you come up with all this? Like, do you sit down and have a checklist of everything you need uh, in a barn, or is it just... Well, initially, the farmer pretty well has an idea what he wants to do, what he wants to end up with. Mm -hmm. And in this case, he wants to milk uh, 51 cows. 51, so precisely. That's what so he, this is room for exactly 51 cows to be milked? Yeah, yes, and the and the barn where the cows are actually fed and rest, that'll hold 51 cows, exactly. Okay, so this? So this is the alleyway into the uh, existing manure storage. Ooh. And it's <laughs> eight feet deep. Uh-huh, eight uh, feet deep? Yep, so the owner operator will scrape with his tractor scraper and the, of course this will be a concrete floor and it goes in there okay. so that's like that's deep a, that's eight feet deep of just poop that's right Ooh. and th there's a big steel beam here uh -huh. a safety beam so that there'll be no accidents happen the no tractor falls into the, poop. the tractor can't go any further than that yum yeah <laughs> all right just going to take a walk about here and show you the main features of this barn is this, this like one, the one that you showed me before? No, this is uh, a little different. So the cows have free choice of feed and where they lay, but this one has a robot to milk the cows. So in this very be... barn? Yes, we'll show you that in a moment. Okay, uh, I'm first going to show you where the uh, baby calves live and oh. fed. Aren't they cute? Yes. So how old are they? Well, the youngest uh, calf here is uh, three weeks old, mm -hmm. and the, probably the oldest one is about two months old. And then they leave this pen and go to another barn for more growing time. They come to this automatic computerized feeder, and it reads the, uh, the name tag of the, of the little calf, uh -huh. and it will then determine that that calf should get so many kilograms of milk. So day. it can tell how much that it should have? Yeah, yes. A calf may so come cool. back more than once. Uh -huh. Let's say he gets 10 kilograms a day. Maybe he does three one time, four another time, three another time. So but the, and then he comes back the fourth time and the computer says, Nope. Nope. You've had no 10. More. You've had. You've had it for today. Okay, so. let's go and look at the, how the cows are milked. This is a robot that does all the work here. It, milk, it cleans the cows. Utter. It milks the cow, it feeds the cow after she's milked. The cow gets fed her, her grain. All right in here? All right in this little cubicle. Look, you can see the milk? Yes. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. Do a final disinfection and send her on her way. So they could go through this two times a day? Yes. This, this uh, robot operates 24 hours a day, uh -huh. uh, 365 days a year. Never stops. This is uh, where the cow would, would rest after he's been milked and, and fed. See how nice and comfortable it is? It's crazy. I could sleep on one of these. Yeah. Cow's got a good. <laughs> Pretty easy life. Yeah, Eat, the life sleep. of a cow. Eat, Eat sleep, sleep, poop, pee, get clean, repeat process. So Every, this is how it all works? This is the command center. This is where everything, all the data from the cows comes into this computer. It's very high tech. The farmer spends more time managing cows than he does actually. Uh, so times have changed. Very much so. <laughs> okay, all the milk from the robot comes in this stainless steel pipe. It goes through a filter. So this is the same one that went all through yes. the ceiling? Yeah. When the, when the cow is milked, the milk is warm. basically warm at body like temperature. Like body temperature. Yeah. So now it has to be cooled quickly so bacteria won't be a problem. So it's immediately cooled here and the heat from the milk goes back to a storage tank and that warm water is fed to the cows so they'll drink more and get more milk. So everything is like recycled? Everything is recycled. Even the body heat from the cow? That's right. That's crazy. <laughs> so could I try a glass from here? No, not really. <laughs> uh, it has to be first pasteurized. Oh, okay. And so that's why it goes to a dairy plant to be uh, pasteurized and then you can drink the milk. Oh. Perfect. So, 